Dreams are important. They give us a destination that we would like, that we would aspire, that we want to one day be in. But what's more important than a dream or a vision of success is something called momentum. Momentum is the speed at which you're moving towards your goal. Momentum is about movement. And achievers are people who are moving all the time. Today when we look at people who are getting big gains versus people who are not, the key difference is that people who are successful are always moving towards something. So movement is as important as your vision of success. But when you look around, you see a lot of people that are stationary. Yes, they're dreamers. They've got big visions and big goals which are beautiful. But the problem is, they're stationary. They're not moving forward. They've lost their momentum. And sometimes you can ask yourself, what stifles momentum? Two things, fear and poverty. Today when we look around, our world is filled with fear. And fear for you and fear for me is that we feel the improbability of achieving our vision of success. We are afraid to take the risks, we are afraid to take the necessary action, and we are afraid to take the necessary decisions needed for us to garner that momentum. Now poverty is another thing. But when I say poverty, I'm not talking about how much money you have in your bank account. It's about feeling poor. And today the whole world is about making you feel poor. Now when you feel poor and when you're afraid, you lose the momentum. And when you lose momentum, you become stationary. And when you become stationary, anything that you envision, anything that you imagine is just in your head. You're never really moving forward towards that spot, that place you want to be in. Take a look around you. Fear and the feeling of poverty all come from the people you associate. The people on your Facebook, the people on your phone, the people on your email, the people you associate day in, day out, give you this virus of fear and the feeling of poverty. It takes you back to the time of slavery and the time of oppression, where the people that were oppressed, the slaves, were given this sense of fear and given this sense of poverty. And because of this, they were stationary, they were obedient, and they conformed to everything that the slave masters wanted them to do. Now I want you to take a look at your life and ask yourself, what are those relationships where you're the slave and someone is putting the fear and the feeling of poverty into you? It could be your job, it could be your girlfriend or your boyfriend, it could be your best friends, it could be anybody around you. Now if you're a slave, what this means is that you are afraid and you feel poor. And the only way to change that is if you change your environment. So if you want to start moving forward, if you want to start taking those gains, what you need to do is surround yourself with people that are not trying to make you a slave. And once you come out of that environment, you're out of those viruses. And when you surround yourself with people that give you courage and make you feel rich, you start gaining momentum. And when you start gaining momentum, that's movement towards your vision of success. There was a time in my life where I was stationary. And I realized it's because of the people around me who told me what is possible, what is not possible, and made me feel poor inside so that I don't take the steps necessary to achieve my vision of success. Today, something that I'm very careful about is the people that I associate and the people that I spend my time with. 
and I ensure that most of the time that I have are spent with people that give me courage and help me feel rich. And these two ingredients is what will give you that speed you need to achieve your vision of success. Think about it. Everything in life is movement. Water moves. The wind moves. Trees grow. Soil moves. The earth rotates. Everything in life, everything in nature is moving. Everything in life that is moving is fearless. And it's not poor. It's abundant.